Okay, I'm Gene Cooper. Um, we're in Encinitas. This is my shape and room. My favorite color is blue. Music's everything to me. I, I, um, I'm a music lover. Oh, Afro Man's a, a rapper who is uh, very interesting to listen to. Not in mixed company, though. Uh, blues, old country, nothing new, none of, none of the new country. It's kind of makes me kind of makes my teeth itch a little bit. As far as pets, uh, my wife has cats. We have a cat rule, any more than two cats and you're a crazy person. There's just a little tweak, there's just a little difference between really crazy and just your walk of the mill person out here on the streets that's just getting by. <laughs> For the Ultimate Craftsman Project, I, you know, when I was given the assignment, uh, you start thinking, you just lay awake at night thinking about what you're going to do. and. The problem I think with making surfboards is doing too much on one surfboard. So here we have the ultimate craftsman challenge and I want to show what I can do. But I, I can't, I don't want to do too much. I want to make it nice and clean and simple. And I, I follow that rule when making surfboards. I was talking to um, Stesic one time, Craig Stesic, not to be a name dropper, but he said something that just stuck with me. He was talking about some shaper that puts everything on one surfboard. You know, the guy's really good and he puts, you know, he puts, he mixes and matches everything. And he's saying, God, it's just too much. Well, it, I went, boy, that's really what I think, that, that you can do too much on one surfboard. Don't mix it up. Just have a clean vision of what you're going to do. I'm making a 11-6 um, a gun and um, I'm going to use their... Um, their old growth redwood that they only have available for a short time so I figure I might as well take advantage of it because sourcing redwood you know I've, d I've done a fair amount of that and it's you know it's it's tough unless you buy a big load of it and so um, I'm gonna use theirs I like what they have and um, so I, all I got from them is I got a blank and I had them cut it and I'm gonna chamber the big redwood stringers and I also am making it out of toe weight foam, which is super, super, super heavy foam. And my plan is to chamber the whole board and foam fill it with, um, with orange foam. I have, over here I have a blank cut up and I, I'm gonna uh, fill the cells with the lightest foam they have. So I have the heaviest foam on the outside and the lightest foam on the inside. So it's still gonna be a pretty stout board. Um, you know, still heavy by most standards, but it won't be a brick and it will be extremely strong. I mean, the, the, you know, you will not be able to, to dent it, basically, a bit, and the, all, the, all the dents will be on the outside of the board. That's the plan.